Welcome, my friends, and we are back at E3 2014. We are still live casting, and I have the distinct pleasure of being joined by Arian Bach, the lead designer on Killzone Shadowfall Intercept. Thank you. Downloadable. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a downloadable expansion coming to Killzone Shadowfall on PS4. Now, Arian, this is not the first time you and I have spoken. No. It was rather stressful last time. Yes, it this was. This is right yeah. before the press conference. This is very laid back. Everyone here is enjoying games. You can just hang out. Uh, why don't you give us just uh, in the nutshell what Killzone Shadowfall Intercept is? All right. So Killzone Shadowfall Intercept is a brand new co-op, uh, online co-op expansion uh, to Killzone Shadowfall. It is all about teamwork. You have four players that will have to work together to uh, overcome the onslaught of enemies that are going to come in. Awesome. And you guys, I mean, obviously, this is four-player online, which was uh, something that you guys were interested in, I assume, even during development of Shadowfall, and it's something you guys really wanted to tackle after the launch. Yeah. Uh, which seems so long ago, but it wasn't actually that long ago. You guys must be busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they keep you busy over there. Yeah. Um, so why did you guys want to take co-op online into the Shadowfall experience? Uh, so at the studio, and, and me as well, I'm a big fan of co-op games. Uh, I like that sort of shared experience that it brings. I, it is a bit more relaxed than uh, a competitive play. Okay. Uh, so it's just yeah, it's uh, you and your friends uh, together. Um, so we we really wanted to do that, um, but you know you're working on the launch title and, and and everything's being built around you, so you have to make choices. So we yeah. we opted to go for you know a solid campaign and uh, do a great competitive multiplayer because that's exactly what people expect from a uh, from a first person shooter. Yes. Uh, but right after launch, we got started on co-op, and and, uh, and and we've been working in it for the for the past couple of months and. <laughs> Tireless That's efforts. Uh, yeah. Um, so I guess this is a good time for us to talk about the four classes, because there's four new classes in Intercept. Yeah. Take your time to like just walk us through this. Like give All us right. a nice breakdown of each of class. Yeah. So we have four classes. Um, we have the assault, the uh, marksman, the okay. tactician, uh, and a medic. Perfect. <coughs> That's four. Uh, so that's four. There we go. <laughs> so um, each of these classes have their own unique uh, uh, role to play in the in the game. Okay. So these have been set up so they don't overlap with each other. So one you know, one class will have to perform a certain job, and then the other will have to do something else. But when they come okay. together as a team, it starts flowing. And uh, so the let's uh, let's go over the classes. So we have the let's assault. Uh, who is the main fighting force in, uh, of the squad. Okay. And he's, uh, he's keeping control over these uh, uplinks that you see on the screen. Uh, and, and he's always at the front. He's got a really powerful shotgun, and he's, he's right in there. Uh, then we have the marksman, who's kind of the eyes and ear of the team. He's, okay. He sits up on a, a high vantage point and then looks down and takes sniper shots at the enemies that are coming in. Okay. But also call it out to his squad mate because as you see we don't have a mini map so he is oh yeah, yeah i didn't so even notice that no, so he's gonna have to sit there and go like okay we got guys in coming from the from the left or they're assaulting a b I c etc and how is he best equipped to kind of scout out i mean is it because he has scopes on his weapons does he have some sort of like eyepiece like what uh, so he has a <coughs> he has a, a very powerful sniper rifle okay uh, that has a long range scope on it Perfect. Um, and that's also sort of his main fighting weapon. Okay, got then it. Then the next one is the, the Medic, and he is the support class of the game. Obviously, everyone has heard of a Medic. Everyone uh, needs a Medic. Everyone needs a Medic. Yeah. And sp specifically in Intercept, the Medic is really important, because if you die, like this guy just did, <laughs> you see, if you die and you die all the way, to get back into the game, it's going to take points out of the mission. So. It's going to take longer to complete that mission. So this guy can actually bring you back in the game without that cost. So he is constantly running around uh, and keeping everyone uh, in fighting shape. He's also got a lot of ammo. So if you're out of ammo, just call for a medic. He'll come in and drop that box. So the medic is actually resupplying the team yeah. as well as keeping them healthy. Exactly. So Perfect. he is the full-on support guy. Like a best friend. Like a best and friend, keep, yeah. Keeping exactly. healthy, well-supplied. <laughs> yeah. Like a normal everyday guy, <laughs> yeah. um, and then that leaves the tactician. Exactly. Yes. Uh, so the tactician 
is quite a bit different than all the other classes. He doesn't really, you can see that right now, he's placing a turret, and he's actually got three of those. Okay. Um, and he's only got a pistol, but those turrets are really powerful. So he's playing a sort of first-person tower defense game, and he's keeping overwatch of all the control points and making sure that his turrets cover it. So this guy is really important to keep the flow of enemies that are incoming, keep those at bay. Okay, and you said there's only, he can deploy three. Yeah. He kind of has to be choosy about where those deployments are. Exactly. And can he redeploy them afterwards? Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. So he's managing his turrets. He puts one down and it can deconstruct it and redeploy it somewhere else. Okay. So that, that sounds like that would be one of the most stressful jobs because that's like major support it is major. for the entire team. Yeah, you're right. It's a really important job. Um, if he doesn't, you see here, he's put his turret in a good spot, so he's getting loads of kills. So it is really important to constantly be looking at where am I going to put my, my turret next. Exactly. So talk to us a little bit about how the Hellgast actually deploy in these zones and yeah. kind of how the waves are set up. Yeah, of course. So uh, in uh, Intercept, we actually have an uh, AI commander system. And he's keeping track of what players are doing using uh, heat maps and telemetry. And he's figuring out where they are and what they're doing and how well they're doing. And he has a roster of tactics and enemies that he can use to, uh, to attack the, uh, the players. So he, he can look at, you know, see players and uh, where they are, and then he's going to send in the right troops uh, based on the situations. Another thing that he can do is when he feels that the players are winning, he's going to want to win. So he can send in these, these bosses that will, uh, that will show up, and these are really powerful ah, enemies. Okay. Very interesting. So that means that every time a group of friends sits down, plays a round of intercept, it's going to be a little different based on how that a a AI commander was. Yeah. AI yeah how did. that commander is actually deploying troops and sending like waves of enemies at them. Exactly. So no game is is going to be the same. Is that does that make designing the game difficult for you guys? Because there's a certain layer of you know uh, unpredictability yeah. to it. Yeah. Uh, it's been particularly hard to balance. And, I could imagine. Uh, uh, that took a long time to get the right flow, get the right setups of the individual classes, a lot of tweaking. And obviously, the commander is trying out different tactics, and he finds certain tactics that are just too difficult. So you've got to dial them down a little bit. So, uh, so it, it took a good couple of, uh, couple of test runs to get that going. Just a few. You guys yeah. only had to test it like three times. <laughs> yeah, it's only about three times. Yeah. How did, can you give us just a quick a couple of examples of how the four classes play into each other and maybe how you'll see teamwork develop between them? Yeah, of course. So um, as you see here, uh, this guy can deploy turrets, uh, which is the tactician. Sure. Uh, and uh, um, besides that, he's good at keeping enemies at bay. We also have these enemies that we call cloakers. Um, and they come in and they're completely invisible. So as a marksman, when you're sitting up at your high vantage point, you're looking down, you can't spot these guys. But the turrets actually can. Oh. So okay. these enemies counter uh, the marksman, okay. but actually the tactician has a counter, counter to them. The enemies. Exactly. Okay. And each of these classes have certain elements of that. Uh, another example is the, the guys with the blue shields. Those are really strong enemies. They have an energy shield that you have to take down first. And the medic actually has a grenade that he can take, them, take that shield down with. So then the assault can get in and, and, and take the those guys out. The medic does that? Yeah, exactly. The medic's not only healing you, resupplying you. He's got grenades. Yep. It's nothing that guy can't do. Yep. It's probably a wizard in the kitchen. Yep. <laughs> probably dresses really well, you know, after he takes off his battle armor. Exactly. Unbelievable. So uh, tell, us, <laughs> tell us the ways that gamers can get their hands on Shadowfall Intercept, because you guys are actually kind of distributing it in a bunch of different ways. Yeah, exactly. So, we, uh, so people that picked up the, uh, the season pass for Shadowfall, uh, they will get this uh, for free. Uh, we'll launch with four maps, but we got six additional maps in the work. They're coming out over the next couple of months. Awesome. Uh, and they'll get those for free. Uh, it'll be released on the 24th of June, so it'll be in the PSN store, the PlayStation Network store. Um, we have an expansion version, so if you don't have a season pass, you can get that and still you know, play with your friends. Bring it right into your game. Exactly. And on the 5th of August, we're also uh, launching a standalone version. So ah. if you do not own Shadowfall, uh, but your buddies do own Shadowfall and they're, and they're playing this co-op game, you can just get that and get in. And all of these different versions can just play together on the same servers. 
Awesome. Well, Arian, thank you so much. It was no great problem. seeing you. Yeah. The game looks awesome, and it's good that you guys are giving it to us in so many different ways. Um, so I think that's going to be about it for Killzone Shadowfall. PlayStation.